Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here. I'm gonna use the Demco 80 20.5 trusted tried and true box opener to get this thing going. I do not recognize this one. <clears throat> so we'll have to see what we got here. Let me just uh, pull this one off screen, just given I'm not 100% sure what it is and wouldn't want to uh, potentially show something on there that might be sensitive. So bear with me a minute. All right. First is some packaging. Next is a knife, I think. <laughs> I assume this is empty. I think this is just packaging. Okay, empty. And what? do we have here? Oh, I think I know what this is, actually. I do believe I do know, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, yes. This is an opportunistic buy. I'll be honest with you, I, uh, I have one of these, but they are awesome. And uh, I had two of them, and I traded one of them away. This is uh, another Evo... Um, this is number 601, and it is a DLC, which uh, are quite the stunning knives. They are really remarkable. The finish is just, uh, I was, I'd said on a video the other day that I hadn't seen a finish like it. Um, I, I think I had said that about this knife, but I did realize that I had, but it was so shiny and mirror polished that I forgot that it was even DLC in the first place, which is I had a, a buddy of mine who actually just bought it for me. I had a Rockstead Higo 2 uh, DLC, polished DLC, and they're very similar to this actually uh, in the finish. Uh, even shinier, I think, because they don't texture it like uh, CFK does here. But man, this is a, these things are, quite, quite impressive um, in terms of uh, the finish. They really are. Because uh, you kind of get a little bit of both. It doesn't feel like, you know, just your average DLC coat knife. It feels like something a little tougher almost. Um, I don't know if that's the right term. Uh, I guess you would say that's normally a pretty tough uh, feeling finish. But yeah, it's, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but man, it's good. <laughs> it's like you get the benefit of like a really resilient finish with a really pretty polished uh, finish on it. It's just a, a really fantastic looking variant. And, you know, worst case, a potentially really nice trade to be able to have around, as I've learned most recently. I got a, a really nice knife trading one, and I did get quite a bit of activity when offering it as trades in general. That hollow ground is just, there's just not a lot of knives like that out there right now. Um, it's really cool. The action, as you can see, is just unbelievably drop shut, just pure gravity drop shut. Like you almost want to tighten it up so it's not quite so drop shut. This one feels like a pretty light I don't want to say light on the detent, but like, yeah, maybe a little light on the detent, actually. I don't know. Maybe that's how they are. It's really easy to actuate. It doesn't feel like it's a problem. Yeah, maybe. It's a very heavy blade, so I'd have to go check my other one and see if I have a similar issue. But uh, the lockup seems good. The centering seems perfect. So not a lot to complain about here. Um, man, they're just really, really good knives. Kind of a crazy thing about this because it has such a uh, heavy blade you can if you hold it right actuate it very easily upside down with you know even your smallest fingers because you just need to basically get it out and it'll go <laughs> but yeah sweet knives um really uh don't need to do another review on this thing but man every time i get one of these dlc in hand it's really uh quite good and i don't find the handle itself is pulling that much on the fingerprints right now so I don't know if someone put a little extra finish on this one but 
yeah, it doesn't seem super uh, fingerprint magnety like the other one I had or have. Um, so that's nice. Whew. Yeah, really cool knives. For the size, they're really well balanced too. I think that's one of the things that gets missed on these is the balance of them. The balance on them is just really, really good. Um, it's right where you'd expect it to be. And uh, yeah, it's part of what makes it feel, even though I think it's probably a six to seven and a half ounce knife. Once it gets that heavy, it's really hard for me to tell. I'd say it's probably a seven ounce knife. Six and a quarter. Um, despite that, it doesn't feel like you're deploying. Like on the Kinison, it, it's a massive blade where you really feel like you're deploying this massive blade. I don't really get that with this one. It feels just very balanced and very easy to deploy. Um, I'm not saying it's like a tiny little blade. It's a massive blade, but for its size and how big the blade stock thickness is and everything, it's actually pretty amazing how uh, how easy that thing is to deploy. So yeah, price was right. Can't go wrong. Glad to have another one. That's all for now. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.